Hola mis que tal, bienvenido a mi canal, soy Sierra Le Fay. With this video, I want to do a part two of recommended heating tools. This is going to be the flat irons I actually recommend. I will link below the blow dryers I recommend for heat train here. Again, this is just some research that I have done. I have not necessarily used all these things that I'm recommending, but if I had the opportunity to get a hold of these particular heating tools, these are the ones that I would try. And I'm also going to just recommend three flat irons because I don't want to overwhelm you with too many, but this will at least give you a good start of maybe what to look into for yourself to see maybe what works best for your hair type. Bueno, nada más a decir, pero... Vamos a empezar. So if you haven't seen part one, I actually recommend that you watch that first because I talk a little bit more about what heating tools need to have, such as it being ceramic, having tourmaline, ionic, etc, etc. And these same things apply to your flat iron. So I'm just going to kind of jump right into the flat irons I recommend. And if you want to know a little bit more about what these things do in your heating tools, definitely watch part one. So the first flat iron I'm actually going to recommend is the FHI flat iron. That is the one my hairstylist used on me when I did the video about me going to get my hair trimmed and done by hairstylist. I have that linked down below. I felt like the results that I got from that flat iron was really really great and the fact that my stylist used it means that it's obviously a good flat iron. So the ceramic plates are actually infused with tourmaline and the plates heat up evenly so you don't have to worry about certain spots you wear here getting more heat than other spots which can cause damage. And the negative ions in the plates actually help to lock in moisture, it helps to repel humidity, and it also helps to reduce frizz. Now with this flat iron, you actually have to be careful with ordering it because a lot of sellers sell a replica of it. And I've heard a lot of bad reviews where people are thinking they're buying the actual product, but unfortunately it's just a replica. So make sure that you're actually getting this from a legit seller or from the company's website itself. I'll have all these flat irons linked below too. So the next flat iron I recommend is the Babyless Bab nano ionic titanium flat iron however it's pronounced I actually recommended the blow dryer to this but I actually have this flat iron I recently got it again I know I've said this in a couple videos but subscribe because I'm going to do a review about this flat iron in particular or just so you guys can kind of see the results that I get from it and these plates are actually titanium and they heat up super fast and negative ions which is again going to help with repelling humidity and minimizing frizz and also giving your hair just a nice shine. And the titanium plates actually last a lot longer and it also glides through the hair so that it's not snagging it, which in turn can cause more damage to the hair. It also allows for fewer passes with the flat iron. But my biggest thing that I love with this flat iron is that I feel that it gives my hair a lot more shine. And the last flat iron I'm actually gonna recommend, I recommended the blow dryer that goes with this, or at least the blow dryer of the same brand. The flat iron is called the Solano Sleek Heat 450 flat iron. So the plates are ceramic which is going to help them heat up evenly. It also has some tourmaline in there and just like I noted in my last video, tourmaline is one of the best things you want to have in your heating tools so make sure that when you are searching for any type of heating tools that it has tourmaline in there because it's just going to help further protect the hair from damage. It's also going to help greatly with adding shine. And the plates are also ionic which is going to help with minimizing frizz and it has infrared heat which is actually going to straighten the hair from the cuticle out which is actually more healthier for the hair. And don't forget there may be certain sections of your hair that need a little bit more heat than others or a little less heat than others so just make sure that you're straightening your hair accordingly and getting the right flat iron to make sure you minimize as much damage as possible you don't have to get the flat irons that I recommend but I just wanted to give you at least a start of some flat irons to look into maybe see if any of these possibly can work for your hair or it may help lead you into another flat iron that's perfect for you bueno I love to hear the flat iron you're actually using if you find it to be really really amazing let me know in the comment section below and don't forget once we hit 4,000 subs I'm doing the giveaway so don't forget to like this video share it with a friend so we can get up to 4k and I can do a really cool giveaway Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until the next one, I'm I want to thank me for doing all this hard work.